Hi guys! Today I just want to let you guys know that I got a puppy! And I will be sharing you with him a little later because he is asleep right now. And I don't wake him up for like another hour, hour and a half. So I will have to come back and show you. I'll show you his, um, his room that we got, which is his crate and yes all that stuff in there but i just will show you the other stuff that we got in preparation of um of having him come and his name is Jax, and he is a multi poo puppy so he was bred with a maltese and a toy poodle so he's not going to get too much bigger um when you guys will see him he's like he's going to be at most i think the vet said eight to ten pounds so I just thought, why not share with you what I got? Now, a little background information before I get started. We had a golden retriever for 13 years that passed away. Her name was Sunny, and she was the, I always say, the best dog ever. Like, she was the best. So anyway, so I had a couple of things from her that um, I didn't need. Like, I didn't need to get a brush because we had a brush. Um, the bed that she barely used, we had a bed. And the couple gates that we had, we had gates. Stuff like that. But I'll share with you the couple things I bought and that I found very useful. So, starting with this is I got a leash from Petco. I don't know if you guys have Petco around or PetSmart, but Petco is where I, um, I got this leash. And it's one of the retractable leashes, so they can go wherever they want. I like these personally better than the like the the non-retractable ones because I feel like, especially for a puppy, they can um, they can go out and just do their thing without you know too much of a pull because you know when puppies are trying to get used to it, um, they're interesting. So anyway, so we ended up getting one with it has a gel like handle, as you guys can see. I push down and it's gel so it's very soft to your hands and what I like is that even though it's a smaller dog we have a big handle because my boyfriend's hands are pretty huge <laughs> so he wouldn't be able how ridiculous is that like carrying around that so it actually has a big handle so I like that and blue of course and this did not come with it guys I got this from believe it or not I got it at the Dollar Tree they're a little plastic um, little bone looking things that attach they have like a little clip right here and they can go on your handle and then you get about 40 bags per package and only for a dollar so I every time I go I make sure to grab some and stock up and so they're like little black bags like this so when you're walking if they decide to go number two decide to poop you already have a bag right here and you don't have to worry about it especially if you live in a community that is not a good thing it's not like your own yard I guess where you can do what you want but anyway so I really recommend this leash um, I liked it better than the one that I had for Sunny because it actually has a gel handle and hers would get stuck because it has the stop button like you press it like oh, you press it like this and it stops and it won't go and then you just press the forward one and then it goes right back in so I really really like this I got this at a little like discount store that we have around here and I know they have uh, many other places but it also has um, a little hook thing too so you can hook it. It is a water bowl so I found this very useful because Jax is in training right now at Petco and he's in puppy one classes right now so he gets thirsty afterwards so I just put it in the car and bring a water bottle and I pour a little bit in and he has it that way or when we're back from the park or excuse me, are taking long walks. Um, this comes in handy for him. And so what it does is it pops out like this. It pops out just one. So you could have like a little bowl for him and then you can pop it out a second time and then it's even bigger. So remember, it clicks, there you go. <laughs> it clicks one or two. And I think it's a half cup or a cup if I'm not mistaken. And it has a little paw print inside, which is really, really cute. And I just got blue to match this stuff. Um, pretty generic, right, for a boy. But um, it is also, this is plastic, and then this is just like rubber. So um, I really, really like this. It comes in handy, and I've used it a lot. I'm only showing you the things I've used a lot. 
And this, I think every dog you will need this. And this one is Simple Green Bio Dog Bioactive Stain and Odor Remover. So as much as I take in my and Bobby takes out Jacks, um, we still have to use this sometimes. Not we are so lucky, and he gets the potty training and all that stuff. And but a couple times here or there, he'll have a little accident if we miss his cue or what. So um, this is definitely one that I loved. I've used a couple of um, remo pet removal stains or carpet stain removals when we had Sunny, and they were okay. And sometimes they will come out, sometimes not. But this one, so far, so far. I'm really liking and we are down to like here with it <laughs> so if he has like dirty feet or anything like that um, we spray this and it doesn't have a big odor and you can um, use it on urine vomit feces scent markings mud and dirt both new and old spots so and this is pet safe and people safe which is important especially if you have children too non-toxic and biodegradable so i really really like it um yes i love it i got it at petco also um if not you can probably find this online um here's the bottle i really really like it okay the next thing i got i have it in a baggie i got from target everybody knows target i got these bones for him something for him to chew on other than his toys and he loves these. I guess they're like rawhide bones. And they they came two in a pack. And I probably could find them cheaper. But I got these at Target. I forget what brand that they were. But it took, it, it's been taking him. He is 13 weeks. Coming on 14 weeks this week. On Saturday. And he's just now getting through one. <laughs> so it's a pretty good investment. And it's good because puppy's teeth. So they need something to chew on. And you know, guys, I want to get um, one of those bones that has like the little ridges for their teeth and stuff. And it's just like those indestructible ones. I definitely got to get one of those for him because I am really thinking he needs one for his teeth. All right. So I'm trying to move this along so it doesn't take 10 hours. I got this little container from Dollar Tree with the little puppy paws and stuff. And I keep a couple of his treats in here. And I think it's adorable and for only a dollar. So, of course, I washed it out before we used it. And I just keep treats in his dingo sticks, which the treats I didn't get from Dollar Tree. But the these dingo sticks, with, which they sell in grocery stores, Target, everything, um, they are wonderful. I love them. There are, like, five of them. He can chew them up. That's another thing that he can chew up. And that is his. And this has um, a lid like this. And you can twist it off, twist it on. So it goes on like that. And it keeps their treats and goodies safe and fresh. So I just love, love, love that. And then here's another thing I got at Target. It is bigger. And this is his food container that I just bought. I don't know how many gallons this is. I don't remember. But it was like the smallest one that they had. And here's the lid. And I really, really liked it because it was clear on the side so you could see how much food he had left and everything like that. And the top, I'll show you guys here. I hope you guys can see this. Um, it, This little thing, it just snaps up and comes up like that. And I love it. And then you push it down again and it snaps back. What? And it was in, the, in Target's pet, pet section. So check there. I love it because, you, like I said, you can see how much food they have left. And, um, yeah, it keeps it fresh without having to deal with the bed. And I also got this at Target. It is a pet food scoop. And what I like is it is actually a measuring thing. Like here it says one cup out here if you fill, like, the whole thing up. Here's a half cup. And here's a fourth cup down here. And they have, like, little lines. I'm pretty sure you guys can see that. And so it helps mark how much food you're giving your dog. And especially with puppies and stuff, you got to like make sure that they're not eating too much or eating just enough. I think he eats okay, but for as active as our dog is, I'm surprised he doesn't eat more. That's just, especially with only giving a fourth cup twice a day, I'm, yeah, I'm just shocked. But anyway, he's only little. He's like 
He has a vet appointment next Monday, so he was weighed at three point, oh, what was it? I want to say eight pounds. He's really, really little. So anyway, so this scoop, I love, 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 love. And it's pretty sturdy, as you guys can see. I mean, I wouldn't like snap it in half. They had different colors too. I think they had blue, white, anything. But I got the gray to match the food thing. And I just love it. And those were the couple of things that I have found very useful for Jackson. I did show you guys. I'll pick you guys up for a second. Um, here is his bed. Oh, I'm getting up. Here is his bed that was my other dog's that she barely used. It looks a little deformed because I washed it. But here's a couple of his toys. We bought this one at Target. We call him Clifford. But a couple of the toys, we have this Kong ball because Kong is very indestructible too. I think this is why he has left of this bone, which is gross. Um, Sunny, I gave... Oh, sorry. Sorry guys, I gave him a couple of her toys that she didn't even touch. So the ones that were okay and I kept some of her toys because I knew we were going to get another puppy. It took me a year and a half to get him. A year and a half to get him. But um, yes, I picked up. He has some of his other toys that I'll bring down that are in his crate right now. So that's all I have to share with you for at the moment. When he gets awake, I will show you him and his crate. And yes, I can't wait for you guys to meet him. All right, guys. So here is the crate we got. Let me take this off. Um, it's, I think, the extra small crate. And it's and it's black wire, as you guys can see. And we just put, like, a, a towel down here. He really likes it instead of getting a bed because um, I don't think they really have too many beds that would fit in here. Maybe I'm wrong, but I didn't see any at our store that would be, like, up the sides and stuff. And the trick that they told me about was to get a crate that they couldn't, they can fit comfortably in, but they didn't have enough room to like soil in it and, and have accidents. Cause you don't want them to be in their crate going to the bathroom. It's just for sleep and being content and happy and playful. So anyway, so with that said, we have his like favorite toys in here. This is, um, like the, one of those stuffless, um, toys and it is uh, a fox so we have that in here he loves that this as we call it, a bobo because if you guys remember on that pet smart commercial like years and years ago that's what they called it but it's so funny because look he's going bald now and then we just have a ball in here um this usually isn't in here but we threw it in yesterday and we didn't get it out and then like i said we just have a towel in here and i wash it once a week that way he has um something clean and he loves it. I think I might um, upgrade to something cushier in a little bit. But as, since he was just so new, it really didn't matter. And he loves it in here. And so that is the crate. Oh, and you guys are if you guys are wondering about the towel, it, is, it does give them some sense of security. And um, the thought of being in kind of more enclosed. And it's nighttime. See how that darkened it up? So he, he loves to see still out front and out back. So I close it like this and it has a little latch. Let me show you guys. Sorry. Folding that up. And then you just lift it up and then it hooks and then it can't come. And so it's an easy in and out thing. Um, also, yeah, if you go inside, let's go inside his room. Um, so he can't see on the side. So it's, it gives him a darker um, look, especially as you can see how bright it is outside. But in here it's dark, it's calm, it's cozy, it's peaceful. And never use your crate as punishment. Um, you want them to go in it peacefully and love it. You can coax them with, I heard, treats if you wanted to get them used to it. Um, you can put their food in there to get them used to it and stuff like that. And just don't give them big drinks of water and, and let them eat a ton before going in. Because that helps with accidents too. But anyway, yep, so I just want to show you guys this. All right, guys, so this is my little boy puppy, Jack. Say hi, guys. See, he just woke up, literally. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> He's so sweet when he wakes up. I love it. But he is, like I said, he is 13 weeks, and he is a multi-poo, so Maltese and poodle, <laughs> poodle, toy poodle mix. And his parents were white, and he came out this, like, apricot color. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Mm. 
Oh, kisses on the mouth. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Everybody wants to see you, Jack. So it's J-A-X, and my boyfriend came up with his name. I really liked it. I forget his reason. Somebody from Mortal Kombat, but I just kind of like the name. So um, he has um, he hasn't lost any teeth yet, and he's going to be a little bit bigger than this. Um, he's so tiny, though. Dodo, he's so tiny. But... Um, Yes, we haven't been training, like I said before, and that's really helping. He knows how to sit and to uh, down a little bit and then to leave it, he knows. Don't you? He's like, come on, Mom. Are we going outside to pee? Got to pee. But yeah, so I, guess I just wanted to share this with you. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed our, our little update on Jax and getting to know him. Um, I'm so glad I can introduce you guys to him. I am just so excited we got him after a year and a half we lost our other dog Sunny, as I was telling you about. So it took me a year and a half to get this guy and we're definitely going to get another one when we get a house then we have enough more, we have more space. So say hi guys. Hi guys. But his hair was a lot longer than this. It's a long story and it will eventually come on our vlogs that we kind of like use the trimmer to like cut it down some a little too much huh bud. But luckily hair grows back. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you on the next one. Maybe not him, but I will. Bye!